This video is going to show you how to solve the most basic kinematics drag race style problem. So the drag race style problem is one where two cars or two objects are kind of racing side by side. Two different initial velocities, two different accelerations, but they both travel the same distance in the same amount of time for the simplest case. So that's what this video is going to focus on, is that type of problem. It reads something like this. Two cars are side by side. The red car is traveling at 15 meters per second while accelerating at 1 meter per second. When the cars are side by side, the yellow car begins to accelerate at 3 meters per second from rest. How much time passes before the cars are side by side again? So we'll start with the time, and then we'll go on to solve other, for other things. So the key thing here is that for this problem, both cars travel the same distance in the same amount of time. Every time you have an acceleration, you need a list of givens. In this case, I have two different accelerations, so I'm going to have two lists of givens. It doesn't matter if the accelerations are one object accelerating two different rates or two objects two different accelerations. For us, every time you have an acceleration, you have a list of givens. So if I look at it, look for my unit clues, I know that the yellow car starts from rest, so the initial velocity is going to be zero. I know that it's going to accelerate at three meters per second squared, so that's the acceleration. For the red car, I know that it's going to be traveling at 15 meters per second at the beginning of the motion, and it's going to accelerate at one meter per second squared. So this is how you're going to start the problems when you talk about a, a drag race kind of problem. Find the initial velocity and acceleration for each of the objects. Two lists of givens for two accelerations. Next, we've got to remember they cover the same distance and the same amount of time. That's key. You can't say it enough. So what that means is that x and t are also two variables that I can use. So I need an equation with x, v naught, a, and t, and that's on the screen. x equals x naught plus v naught t plus 1 f a t squared. Same thing for the red car. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the values above the equation and plug them into the equation. So now when I do that, you can see my two expressions using the givens above them. All right, a little more room so I can show a little more work. So now I've got these two equations and I have two unknowns. They're the same x and the same t and two equations. So now I just need to solve. One of the ways you can do that is by remembering that the distance that one object travels is the same as the other. That's our premise for our simple problem. So I'll set the two distances equal to each other. Well, if the distances are equal to each other, so are the equations that describe the distances. So for the yellow car, it's the equation on the left. For the red car, it's the equation on the right. So what I can do is just set these two equal together, equal to each other, since the x's are equal to each other. Now I'll combine like terms, so I end up with this expression. 0 is equal to t squared minus 15t. It's important to set everything equal to 0. Next step, I'll use the distributive property to pull out the t. Don't just divide by t for two reasons. Number one, you're going to lose one of your answers. And number two, you can't divide by a variable because if it's zero, then it's undefined and you can't do something that's undefined. So you cannot just divide by t. In this case, we'll use the distributive property and pull it out. So now I know either t equals zero or t minus 15 equals zero. When two numbers are multiplied together and they equal zero, one of them has to be equal to zero. So either t equals zero or the stuff in the parentheses, that number is equal to zero. So I know that one of my answers is going to be t equals 0. The other one, I can just solve for t. And that gives me 15 seconds. So either t is equal to 0 or t is equal to 15 seconds. That's my answer, 15 seconds. And t equals 0 makes sense because they travel the same distance at t equals 0 when they're side by side. So that answer actually makes sense too. All right, let's see what we need to have, what we need to show for full credit in this kind of problem. What am I looking for? I'm looking for two lists of givens because I have two accelerations. I'm looking for you to list your variables, your numbers, and your units. I'm also looking for arrows, something about the direction. Um, some it, well, We're looking for the arrows to have directions. I'm looking for a formula with only variables, in this case the x equals x naught plus v naught t plus 1 f a t squared. I'm looking for the formula with numbers and the formula with units. And then I also want to see this expression, something that indicates that these two objects travel the same distance. In this case, x subscript red equals y sub yellow. Some math steps that go in here. And then, of course, a numerical answer with the units on the answer. So that's what I'm looking for to give you the full credit. So here's a quick screen showing you all the things that we need to do. But wait, there's more I can find out. So I know that time is equal to 15 seconds. I could also answer this question. I can find the distance each car traveled in this 15 second time period. So if I look at everything that I have, I have the initial velocity and the acceleration for each car. Not enough to find the answer, but I just calculated the time for each one. 
So now I have one more given for each car, for the yellow and the red. I have three givens now. So at this point, I can find anything I need to. Remember, they cover the, each car covers the same distance, so I can use the givens for either car. I'm going to choose the, the yellow car, or the blue formula over there. So x is equal to 0, plus 0 equals 1 half, 3 meters per second squared times t squared. I'll rewrite the equation, and the time, well, that's just one more given that I just calculated, so there's my 15 seconds. So now, when I do the math, I get my distance to be 337.5 meters. So for a simple problem, they start off side by side, they end up side by side, so they both travel 337.5 meters. But there's more I can calculate. I can also calculate the final velocity of either of these cars. So using that time, I can still do the calculations for the final velocity using VOAT. V equals V naught plus AT. So I can find it for the red car in this case. So V is equal to 15 meters per second plus 1 meter per second squared times 15 seconds. Do a little bit of math, and I find that the red car is equal to 30 meters per second. I can do the same thing for the yellow car. And when I do it for the yellow car, I'm going to find out it's 45 meters per second. It's not the same final velocity for these two cars. But I can do that for either car. And that's where I'm going to end this.